Welcome back to the Bible and Christian Spiritual Formation. You are in the home stretch just about eight weeks before you're completely done with the course and you graduate. So here in this last section, I hope that you can uh, hanker down and dig in and prepare yourself uh, for a fun and challenging course. Uh, of course, this is the fourth part of a four-part course. Uh, and I hope a lot of things will begin to come together for you. I know that they already have up until this point. Let me share just a few quick things for you to keep in mind. Uh, everything is on Moodle. It's open. It's ready for you to go, evidently, because you're viewing this video, and that's where you would find it. Um, also, I want you to keep in mind that Jacob Vangen uh, will be serving as our teaching fellow during this course as well. So much of the grading that you will uh, have in this course will come from Jacob. Uh, so if you have any questions uh, or any concerns, especially any complaints, I would like you to call Jacob Vangen. Uh, I'm just teasing. Uh, if you have any concerns or complaints, please contact me. But keep in mind, Jacob is a great uh, resource as well. As a matter of fact, Jacob is a veteran of this course. I think I mentioned this last semester. He's been through it, although it's gone through some changes. Uh, and he's a great resource to you. Uh, a couple of things to keep in mind about assignments. Number one, there are no reading reports during uh, this portion of the course. Um, we do have Zoom and lecture reports like normal, but these are very, very brief. I want uh, your uh, Zoom report and your lecture report to be just as brief as you can as, as you can make them. So pay close attention to the um, to the uh, uh, to, to the instructions that you'll find on those uh, on those assignments and like I said keep it brief the zoom and lecture reports will be doing every single week the other two and there's only two other assignments in this class that you need to consider uh, concern yourself with and that is the reading backwards paper which is uh, a paper that you'll be ex where you'll be exploring what you're learning in Richard Hayes's book reading backwards uh, about figural reading intertextuality and prayer I think you'll really, really love uh, this book. I hope that you do. And I think the paper will be a, a, a joy for you to complete. Uh, it's not a very long paper, and the instructions for that are in Moodle. The second assignment is the very last assignment, and it's not due until the last day of the course. And uh, the name of this assignment is, What is the Bible? Uh, I know that's a big question, uh, but after taking this course for four sections under uh, uh, under Jan and then uh, and then under me, uh, I hope that it's raised some questions so that the Bible, the, the nature of what Scripture is, is more uh, fresh on your mind. So uh, you'll be exploring different ideas, such as what is the Bible as it relates to being a sacrament, or is it merely an historical record? Is Scripture something else in between? And I want you to use uh, all of your imagination uh, and your creativity and your articulateness in explaining for me what the Bible is. The information on this assignment will be forthcoming uh, next week. It's not uh, all the details of it are not worked out and included in Moodle yet, but they will be shortly. Again, this is the last assignment uh, for the entire uh, for the entire course. So the more detailed rubric for it will be coming up shortly. And we'll be discussing it in our Zoom sessions as well. Uh, another thing I want you to keep in mind, there's a lot of reading towards the beginning of this course, not nearly as much towards the end. So just, uh, you know, if, if you're going to, if you feel like you're drinking out of a fire hose right here at the beginning, th that's understandable. It will taper off as you go. Also, during Holy Week, we do not have class, so you're free not to do anything with this course during Holy Week, although I would encourage you to continue your reading. That might be a good time to catch up on some of your reading in the course. And then also, lastly, I'm going to be providing lots of recommended resources in the course, um, more than you know we can cover. Uh, I've got a couple of lists that, uh, that I'll be sharing with you because I think this, this task of deepening our understanding of Scripture, uh, deepening our engagement with Scripture, learning to pray the Scriptures more and more, I think that's a lifelong journey and a lifelong task and something I hope none of us tire of. So these resources that I'm going to provide you with and point you toward, I hope will 
give you some something to read along the way, something to encourage you along the way as you seek to stay faithful to the Lord and dig in deep into Scripture. And I hope these resources might serve in, in a little bit of a Emmaus Road kind of way where God might be opening up your eyes to more things about how he's at operation, how he's operating, I should say, within the scriptures. I'm really looking forward to the class. Uh, I look forward to spending time with you guys on Zoom, and I will be seeing you uh, as well during your residency while you're here. May God bless you in everything that you do during this course, and especially as you wrap up. And let me conclude this with a brief prayer for you. Lord, I pray that the meditations of everyone's heart might be glorifying to you and empowering for the work of ministry. May we be transformed more and more into the likeness of your Son. We pray this in his holy name. Amen. Thank you all, and I will see you soon.